This video is on POP and IMAP. We talked about SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, which pushes or sends the email to the SMTP server. POP or Post Office Protocol and IMAP Internet Message Access Protocol are message accessing agents protocol used to retrieve messages from the mail server. These two are necessary because although the mail is transported around the network via SMTP, users cannot always immediately read it. So it must be stored in a central location. And from this central location, it needs to be downloaded or retrieved, which is what POP and IMAP enables you to do. POP version 3 and IMAP version 4 are the current standard and the most popular. When using POP, the email client first connects to the email server. Once it's successfully connected, it grabs all the mail from the server. It then stores the mail locally on your device. POP will delete mail from server by default. However, you could set it up where you could leave copies on the server. IMAP, on the other hand, after it connects to the email server, it fetches whatever content you requested, like all new emails or the content of a specific message. This is cached locally, so you can work on your device. Once you make changes to your email, such as deleting messages or sending new email, the server processes this and saves the changes. But do note that you're not downloading a local copy. You're using the email client to manage the email store on the server. Only information stored on your device are cached copies for efficiencies. Let's talk about the differences. POP can only be used on one device at a time, unlike IMAP, where messages can be accessed from multiple devices. Also, POP requires you to download the content, while IMAP allows you to read the content before downloading. POP doesn't allow you to search and organize email, nor create, delete, rename email on server, while IMAP does. POP does not allow user to sync emails, unlike IMAP. This is because POP allows you to save the email on your computer. The protocol is ideal when users need to access email offline. IMAP allows you to access your email wherever you are from any device because it's internet-based. When you read an email message using IMAP, you aren't actually downloading or storing it on your computer or your device. Instead, you're reading it from the email service. POP works by contacting your email service and downloading all your new messages from it. Once they're downloaded, they're deleted from the email service, meaning once the email is downloaded, it can only be accessed from that device. If you try to access email from any other device, the message that had been previously downloaded won't be available. POP listens on port 110, with POP over SSL listening on 995. IMAP server listens on 143, with IMAP SSL listening on port 993. Thank <laughs> you.